So today we're going to talk about retirement savings. We're going to talk about a few different things about retirement savings. Um, what kind of retirement savings? What should you be doing for retirement? When should you start, start saving? Um, what kind of plans there are? And those type of things. So the first thing that I would like to say is if you are an employee of a company and that company has a 401k and the company matches a certain percent of that 401k, you need to take advantage of that. That is free money on the table. Just spoke to a client today and she didn't even know that her company had a, um, a retirement uh, um, savings account and whether they match or not. So that's one of the things you need to look at when you are looking for your job. You need That's part of your financial package. You need what's part of your benefit package. You need to find out if they have retirement, what kind of 401k and how much they're ma matching. That is a... 101 of part of your package when you are looking for a job and your salary is an added benefit to your salary. So it's free money. So for example, um, my husband's company matches up to 5% of his salary. So let's just say 5% of his salary is $5,000. I'd like to put in for him to put in $5,000. The company will put in $5,000 and he now has $10,000 in his retirement account. So it's an incentive that the company are giving to their employees to make sure that they are putting in um, saving for retirement. So it's one of the best benefits to, to work with. You have companies have different options, so every company is different, so you just need to know what your company is offering. Then there are traditional IRAs. Traditional IRAs are usually, um, Depending on how old you are for 2022, you still have time to contribute to a traditional IRA. So let's just say you owe tax and you don't have retirement right now. Uh, you can still put up to $6,000 in a traditional IRA until April 18th and be able to deduct that on your 2022 tax return. So that's very important for you to think about um, if, you, if, if that's something that is an option for you. It's uh, under 50. If you're under 50 years of age, you can do $6,000. If you're over 50 years of age, you can do $7,000. Then there's also Roth IRAs. Now, the, the, the Roth IRA is actually an excellent um, avenue for people who are just starting out. Because if you're in a lower tax bracket when you start out, a Roth IRA is not deductible on your tax return, but the, you, the, you contribute it post-tax, but it grows tax-free. So that means if you contribute $6,000 today, and in 10 years from now, that 6,000 is $50,000, you will be able to take that money out tax-free. You will not be taxed on that money. Of course, all of these accounts have different rules that you need to look into that we can discuss at a later date, but those are your three major options when it comes to um, individual retirements. For businesses, there's also um, simple IRAs, 401ks for the business itself, SEP IRAs for individuals, with, within a business or separate IRAs are self-employment IRAs, and there's also limits to that. So those are all some of the ways that you think about retirement, retirement savings. When should you start with saving for retirement? As soon as possible. Soon as my son got a job, I had him contribute some money to a Roth IRA to put in the market, to start thinking. I even had him learn a little bit about investing and do a self-directed IRA. So it's a couple of thousand dollars and he can also learn about the stock market and what's happening and how he can invest and things like that. So it's a, it's a good introduction for your young people to start thinking whether they want to um, put it in a, a, a regular IRA and have somebody manage it for you, Roth or regular, or do a self-directed where one of the um, companies will be able to put it in an IRA for you and you can choose the stocks, bonds, or securities that you want to invest in, depending on how um, investment savvy you are. So those, th those are basically a nutshell of what kind of accounts. Of course, there's an endless list and we can continue. So 
we try to think of different ages where you should be putting in different money at different times. So they're saying that Fidelity recommends that if you, you should save 10 times your salary, your annual salary by age 67. So, you know, there are certain benchmarks by, by age 30, you should be saving the equivalent of your salary. By age 50, you should be saving six times of your salary. By age 67, you should be saving 10 times of your salary. So those are some of the things that are recommended by brokerage houses out, outside in terms of um, savings for retirements. But it all depends on you know, what your risk tolerance are when you're coming into the market and that type of things. For instance, if we look at a case where a man or a woman is 45 years old, who's planning to retire at 67 with the average life style, with his average lifestyle, the average lifestyle, he might set a target retirement savings for four times the salary, but changing the retirement age from 67, 65 to 67, you have to factor in different things. So you might have to do six times the salary instead of four times the salary. Definitely a, um, a broker will be able to help you to, to kind of decide where you're at with, with that type of things and what your risk tolerance is and things like that. So, you know, you want to be assessing your savings factors at your current age, uh, when you're retiring, and future lifestyle expense needs. So you want to you want to decide on how you want to live, you know, in different instances and part of your your um your life, different stages in your life. Savings is based on um, percentages of pre-tax income. So usually with retirement savings, we think about um, what our pre-tax income is. My philosophy on where you want to be when you retire is you want to be able to take money out of three pots, ideally. Okay. You want to be able to take money out of, if you have a 401k that you've built up on and that you've worked on or an IRA, it, you know, some sort of an IRA SEP or rather anything, those are all tax deferred account, which means that you get a benefit for it now because they're deductible on your tax return, but when you take the money out, it's gonna be taxed at that point. Usually that works out for people because they're at a lower tax bracket when they retire as opposed to while they're working. So young people, I like to start them off with Roth IRAs because their tax bracket is pretty low and they don't really need the tax deduction. So we start off with a Roth IRA. And then they get to the point where there's a limit on income on Roth IRA. So you're not allowed to contribute to a Roth once you reach a certain income level. The next stage I get with the young people is their 401k with their companies. So, you know, we, if we can do both together or we can do the Roth and then we can do the 401k, then that's usually what we do. So I like to start them off with Roth and do the Roth until they're not able to do it anymore. There's also something called a backdoor Roth IRA, which I use for highly compensated um, employers and employees, which we can discuss. That is a whole different video. So we can talk about that at a later time, but it's there. So that's usually where I start off young people. And then we move on as they get older and they start making more money and they need the tax deduction. Then we go into tax deferred account, which is, you know, pre-tax 401ks, SEP IRAs and, you know, traditional IRAs, simple IRAs, things like that. So, you know, you just want to make sure that you're who you're planning with your tax advisor and your investment advisor or your financial advisor. They are aware of all these things and they're talking to you about it. Like I said, this is the first of many on retirement savings and how to save on um, to build your wealth of many videos. So make sure that you continue to watch, you subscribe and like my videos and keep asking the questions that you want to learn more about. This is Sharon, the Modern Savvy CPA. See you next time with another savvy topic.